Vattenfall is a European energy company. It is one of the continent's largest producers of electricity and heat. For more than 100 years, we have electrified industries and supplied heat and power to people's homes. Now, we're on a journey to be fossil fuel free in one generation. The European Offshore Wind Deployment Centre, or EOWDC, is an important character in that journey's story. The EOWDC is a groundbreaking offshore wind facility which is expected to annually produce enough electricity to power the equivalent of 70% of homes in Aberdeen. Every year, it will prevent more than 134,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide entering the atmosphere. It will continue to tackle climate change throughout its life. The scale and ingenuity on display at the EOWDC reinforces Aberdeen's status as Europe's energy capital, and it helps secure Scotland's place as a leader in offshore wind innovation. The European Offshore Wind Deployment Centre hosts 11 of the world's most powerful wind turbines, which stand tall at 191 metres. Each blade is 80 metres long. The blades on each turbine have a 164 metre diameter, larger than the London eyes. A single rotation of those blades powers the average UK home for a full day. The clean electricity generated by the wind farm is transmitted at 66 kilovolts to the nearby onshore substation at Black Dog, Aberdeenshire, where it's exported to SSE's DICE substation and then connected to the national grid at Kintour. The use of suction bucket jacket foundations paired with these powerful wind turbines is an industry first. Using this novel foundation type enable quicker installations, were virtually noiseless, and had minimal environmental impact. The EOWDC deployed Scotland's first 66 kV export and array cables. They reduce electrical losses, and the wind farm requires fewer cables to transmit its power. These innovations, in addition to internal software upgrades, and mechanical and electrical improvements in the turbine should boost productivity and performance while reducing construction costs. Pushing the boundaries doesn't stop at the components. A three million euro investment in an environmental research and monitoring program which is believed to be the largest research program of its kind has enabled research that will improve the understanding of the interaction of offshore wind farms with the environment. Leading the programme is a scientific panel, a collaboration between Vattenfall, environmental specialists and renewable energy regulators. Throughout the 20-year lifetime of the wind farm, Vattenfall hopes the facility will continue to operate as a test bed for new technology and innovation to accelerate the offshore wind sector's drive for cost reduction and greater productivity. Working with universities, government, businesses and research groups, the project will be a home for innovators, offering the opportunity to use the EOWDC to trial new technologies in a real operating environment in Aberdeen Bay. This ongoing test and demonstration will be supported by the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. Whilst we look ahead, we should not forget the history of the European Offshore Wind Deployment Centre. The EOWDC project dates back to 2003, when the Aberdeen Renewable Energy Group, AREG, had a vision. To establish Aberdeen City and Shire as a global hub for renewables. A £300 million investment from Vattenfall, supported by a €40 million Euro grant from the European Union, helped realise this vision. Construction began in 2016, and the wind farm was completed in summer 2018. In just nine weeks, all 11 suction-anchored jackets and the world's most powerful wind turbines 
were safely installed in the waters of Aberdeen Bay. During offshore construction, a 1,800-ton suction bucket jacket foundation was installed in the record-breaking time of just two hours and 40 minutes. The EOWDC will be operated from Aberdeen Harbour, with skilled technicians maintaining the wind farm throughout its life. Vattenfall has made one of the biggest offshore wind investments in Aberdeen Harbour and created a gateway for renewables in the northeast. As well as backing local business, Vattenfall supports the community too. Involving the local community throughout the development, construction and operation of the EOWDC has been and will continue to be a priority for Vattenfall. We want to be part of the communities where we operate by working with local people to maximize the positive impacts this investment can bring to the area. That's why we've set up a three million pound community benefit scheme. The fund designed with the community will see an investment of £150,000 a year throughout the operational life of the wind farm. The fund is an opportunity to help build a sustainable and lasting legacy in Aberdeen City and Shire. We hope you agree that the EOWDC's journey and the people behind it have shown ingenuity and determination to build Aberdeen's wind farm. There has been a tremendous amount of support and collaboration to get the EOWDC to the operations phase. Our construction contractors, Murphy Group, Boscalis and MHI Vestas, have been instrumental in the delivery of the project. As has the Scottish Government, Crown Estate Scotland, AREG, the local supply chain, regulators and our community partners. The cutting-edge technologies used at the EOWDC shows us the future of global offshore wind. It leads the industry towards the generation of ever more clean and competitive wind energy. And for Vattenfall, its vision to be free from fossil fuels in a generation is within its grasp. <laughs>